Hello everyone, in this video we are going to show how to deploy a persistent chat server in Linked Server 2013. As the persistent chat's role cannot be collocated in the front-end server, we will use a dedicated server for that role and use also a separated SQL node. We will start by installing the pre requirements uh, in the persistent chat. So to, the, to use persistent chat, we will need Windows Identity Foundation and also message queuing server. Uh, these two roles uh, are already installed because I already did it, but they are required, so please install it before. So now let's go to our link server, open our topology and add a new persistent chat to the topology. You just need to put your FQN from the new server that you are going to install later. Select single computer and also give the name of the pool for your persistent chat. Enable compliance. Select the node where you want to store the SQL data. And again for the compliance database now we need to select the share, next observer, and next. And then we just need to publish the topology. During the publication, uh, basically the databases will be created in the SQL node and also publish the information in the topology and we are good to go. Uh, the to-do list is also requesting to create the DNS record to the persistent chat role. I just now click finish and check the persistent chat and now we are going to do a refresh and there you have the new SQL data basis. So Just to show you that currently we don't have the persistent chat role enabled. Let me just log in. This is a virtual environment, so sometimes take a, a while to load. And as we, you can see, there is no persistent chat role yet enabled. Now we need to install the binaries. And we just need to run the setup and wait until it starts. Okay, now I'll just click install. Accept. Now we just need to click in install or update link server, waiting for the determined deployment state to finish. And then we will have to follow all the steps of the wizard. Now click on run. These are the same procedures we do when installing like a front end server or any other role for our link. Okay, we will retrieve the information from the CMS. Click on next. And everything is installed. Now we just need to go to the step 2 and do the same. Click on run, next, and we just need to wait for the installation to complete. As you can see, it's checking for the Windows Identity Foundation 
as a pre-requirement and also messaging queue that we already did it before and it's finished now we just need to request certificates click on default instance request next send it immediately request select the, the CA you want to use next next Specify a friendly name that you would remember in case you need. Next, let's just type a region, everything to confirm. Next, and as I have in my lab an additional SIP domain, I'm going to add, add it also. And that's it, the request. Is done and I need now to issue the certificate in my CA so let's go to the domain controller which is where I have the CA so we need to select certification authority and now pending requests and click all tasks issue now we need to go back again to the persistent chat you just need to click on close and run again the wizard and the pending request and certificate should be there and that's it process pending online certificate request next finished and assign certificate next and select the one we have just requested and issued go next next and that's it and now the last step of the wizard start the services and finished okay now we need to go to the control panel and check what, you, what we have in the topology just to see if our persistent chat is already available. Let's type our admin credentials, very important. Click on topology. And as we can see, the persistent chat is already there and it will take a few time, a few minutes to replicate the data from the front end and also from the persistent chat. So it will be bidirectional and I have forced a synchronization as and as we can see, the synchronization between the front end and the persistent chat was completed. Um, in the following TechNet articles, we'll you will have all the details for the requirements of the persistent chat and also all the details for deploying a persistent chat server. So in my next video, I'm going to show how to configure persistent chat and also we are going to test it. And that's it. Hope you enjoy it.